Hello and welcome back to World of Tanks. I am Zodom and uh, this is a replay of mine in my brand new tier 10 heavy tank, the AMX 50B. I am playing a match on Swamp with my buddy Thompson and uh, this is a pretty good matchup. Only five tier 10s on either side and no artillery which is going to become uh, really important in this match. Uh, as you know, the uh, AMX 50B is very thinly armored on top of the tank and uh, around the whole turret, uh, which makes it pretty vulnerable to artillery. Um, and so you can see, uh, right in the beginning, everyone is heading to the castle, and uh, just some tanks going into the uh, northeastern corner of the map. Uh, Thompson is trying to spot the enemies to my right, and I am going to just sit here and wait for anybody to cross and to get some early shots in um, and since because there's no artillery I can just sit here and just shoot one round after another into the lower plate of the IS-7 and uh, try my last shot try to track him but uh, he was angled too well and uh, the shot is getting sucked up by the bleh, Russian side armor so I'm just sitting here, reloading, uh, just waiting for the next opportunity to, to kill the IS-7 or to start um, wreaking havoc on the VK. So I'm reloaded, I'm pushing forwards and I'm going ham on the lower plate again, uh, which looks like a Swiss cheese by now. And uh, with my last two shots I'm trying to snipe the cupola of the VK which is pretty much the only point where I can pen this from the front and um, I succeed so after my first two magazines I am up to 2800 damage with only uh, I think the one shot that bounced in the side of the IS-7 uh, Thompson is uh, shooting at the VK and he's a one shot now but Thompson bounces this shot or misses and the M103 is getting the kill. Now I'm reloaded and I see the opportunity to snipe on some uh, tank destroyers but I yeah I fuck up my shot on the Yak Panther and I hit the fuel tank of the WT of uh, Panzer IV and um, sadly I miss the Stritzwang and uh, going for another reload with just one round left in the magazine now I see that um, the enemy team has pushed around the east side of the map so um, instead of pushing into their base um, Thompson and me are going to go back to um, try to prevent the enemies from capping and here we got a uh, Bulldog and an E5 I get spotted and I immediately ch start shooting into the side of the E5 which is pretty thin and sadly this shot is, uh, is hitting the uh, the wood on on the house. I'm trying to blind fire the uh, T54 but I think this misses um, so I'm going for another reload and I'm going to relocate to get a better angle on the uh, E5 or the T54. Now I'm up to 4600 damage after uh, was this I think after three magazines I think I get spotted by the E5 here, who is also relocating to um, to a better position, which you can see uh, he's hull down now, so there's pretty much no way that I can pen him without uh, gold ammunition, and uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to reload a whole magazine now. I'm trying to bait the shot to, to see if I can find one in his lower plate, but it's completely hidden. He misses again. Thompson kills the T-54 in the cap, and uh, so we can just um, uh, shoot at the E-5 now without having to bother with the T-54. I try to find a shot into the lower plate, but there's no way, so I'm retreating again. I don't want him to uh, to hit my thin turret. So he's giving me his side now again. I'm going for the tracking shot, but... Mm, yeah, the shot misses. This shot magically um, penetrates the turret. 
which uh, yeah, which was really really lucky because this is like a two pixel wide, um, I think, uh, location with like 240 armor or something from the front. Yeah, Thompson tries to push the E5 and kills him, killing him from behind, but he doesn't succeed. Now I'm almost reloaded and I see an opportunity here to ram the shit out of this Centurion. I get one shot off and then I ram him for 520 damage, but I think I take about 450 damage in return. Um, yeah, maybe he was would would have been ready to shoot another shot into me when uh, if I didn't ram him, but yeah. So now I snipe the cupola of the Stritzwagen, the tier 9 one and put the last shell into the lower plate of the FE and now I have to get off uh, now I'm trying to hide from the FE during my reload which is not too long on the um, on the AMX 50B I think it's around 35 seconds 37 seconds something uh, but I see the Leopard pushing from behind so I'm worried about that but I see that the Panzer E100 is turning around now so I'm going ham on the FV again. Going to penetrate his lower plate again and then hit him in this weak spot on the side. But sadly, it's not enough to kill him. Uh, so I'm a one shot now for him. But luckily, he bounces his shot on uh, my upper front plate, as you can see here. Um, yeah, which was again really, really lucky. Uh, yeah, the last shot put me on 8,294 damage that we've seen and I think there was uh, maybe some blind damage on the uh, on the WT with the fire. So here you can see the post battle results screen. I got my first ace tanker badge for my 50B that I bought last week. The Spartan medal for the last bounce from the FV215B and the high caliber. And we actually did 1,194 damage to the Waffentrag of Panzer with just that one hit and the fire. Which is why you have to take a fire extinguisher with you at all times. So we did a total of 8,514 damage with uh, 26 shots fired and 18 penetrations. I think most of the misses and the bounces were from um, when I fired at the E5 that was hull down. We actually bounced 800 damage with, uh, with the 50B, uh, which was, I think, two shots from the FV 215B. We got 1205 base experience uh, and with some nice uh, reserve bonus we got a total of 3254 experience without the premium count and we actually got 22,700 credits because we didn't fire any premium rounds. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video please leave a comment down below with some feedback. I'm very thankful for that. And if you want to see more videos, not only from World of Tanks, but also from World of Warships or Counter-Strike GO, or some other games I'm playing from time to time, please subscribe, and I will try my best to upload loads of videos for you in the future. So that's it from me, I will see you next time.